sisters with you men and women who guard nuclear weapons at the Trident submarine base. However, these nuclear weapons stand in violation of international laws, especially the Non-Proliferation Treaty, the Nuremberg Accords, and the International Court of Justice Advisory Opinion of July 1996, ruling the threat or use of nuclear weapons would generally be contrary to rules of international law. Furthermore, these weapons inspire endless war, threaten human annihilation and global destruction, rob impoverished populations of resources needed for full human lives, and bring grave environmental danger. These weapons here become tyrants which rule over us and hold us in bondage. We come on the feast of the visitation when Mary proclaimed to her cousin <coughs> Elizabeth that God will pull these tyrannical forces from their thrones and fill the deprived population of the earth with resources for full life. We come to reclaim this property for peaceful purposes and bring an invitation to the base commander to join us in dialogue about the Puget Sound nuclear weapons-free zone. Our first dialogue with other invited U.S. and Washington state elected officials will be held at the Ground Zero Center for Nonviolence on July 18th uh, at 10 o'clock. Lunch will be provided. Please contact Ann or David Hall or uh, Glenn Miller. I wanted to introduce Sergeant Mike Merrill, here from the Kitsap County Police to help keep the sheriff's office. The sheriff would yell at you if you're in the And uh, Sheriff, uh, Boyer has been here this morning as well. And um, just to add that Sheriff Boyer left a uh, personal uh, note for Father Vic saying happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's join together in the Pledge of Nonviolence. It's also on your little cards. If you've got a little card. You can come get one. So, let us join together saying, I commit myself to refuse to engage in verbal abuse or physical violence, not to bring drugs or alcohol, carry no weapons, not to retaliate in the truth, be open, friendly, and respectful to all I encounter, clearly share my message of peace, listen to my fellow friends. Remain gentle, not self-righteous or hostile. Remember that transfer 
transformation to peace begins with my life. Sustain this discipline through all consequences, even under the legal violence of the state. Just so you know, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, <laughs> but I'm here, as usually. <laughs> Um, 90% of what's going on today is going to be the same as what you've seen before. Okay, we're going to have a group of people down on. We're going to have a group of people down on 308. Uh oh, not, not feel vulnerable. <laughs> we're going to have a group of people down on 308. Okay, if everybody can hear me, that if anybody crosses the stanchions down there into the main part of the roadway, you will be arrested. Okay, I mean that's what it's been in the past. The two changes that is going to occur, okay, one is, is no longer a car is going to be allowed to access on 308 to drop people off, okay. State Patrol is taking more of a lead role in this type of thing and that's something that isn't going to be allowed anymore. We will provide you places to park up on Clear Creek as long as it's well on this side of the bridge that you can walk people down that may be a little bit mobility challenged. Okay, down the trail down there. The trail is still accessible as it always has been, and that area is there. The other thing you're going to see, and I want you all to be aware before you get there, and if you have any questions, I'll try and answer them, is no longer is pedestrian traffic going to be allowed on the Clear Creek overpass. Okay, that's another change. Those are the two changes that you're going to see. Okay, so those are going to be the big changes. Everything else is pretty much status quo. All right? Are there questions that I could try and answer? Are you yes. saying that people are not allowed to walk over the overpass? If we have somebody that needs to get to the bus stop, they'll be escorted across, but there's not going to be anybody allowed actually up on the overpass just going back and forth. No. That's all of the time or just during protests? During the protest. During the protest. Yes. Uh, okay. Why? Yes. Why? Why? Yeah. It's for the protection of our officers down below the down below the event where we have them down there as well as the that's down there. But there's never been a problem there. Right. I there hasn't been right at this point. But did. you you have to understand, and I know I'm the bearer of bad news, is that I'm not the one that made this decision. I happen to be the one that gets to deliver it. Okay, <laughs> this decision was made up above and like I say there's a there's a change happening okay where the sheriff's office used to be just the group that handled this and we might have just a couple state patrol officers to help it's a state route down there and I think what we're going to see is that slowly the sheriff's office is going to be moving their way out of this process because we also have trigger to take care of an office so you're going to see state patrol taking a larger role in this so it's something where the administration from the state patrol as well as our administration sits down and they're trying to make the changes that they feel is best for them. We also will have a group that's holding the banner over the overpass, uh, which may be a situation of risking arrest. Um, and we have some people who are willing to hold it and risk arrest. The state patrol has been telling us that we can't hold a banner over the overpass, which we've done for you know, 30 years, and so many feel strongly about that. Last, We will have a car driving down to the gate for those who need it. Right. How many people need a ride down? And right. they want to come. Right. We have a right to And you know what I would do, honestly, if I were you? Because, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm down here on, on the chart things. What you could do as a group is, is get with the sheriff. I mean, the sheriff is very accessible, you know, because he's willing to come up here and he's extremely accessible. Talk with the sheriff and say, hey, you know, we feel, we're, we're feeling all due, all right? I know I'm going to get in trouble for this one. I can guarantee it right now. But what what we'll do is if you come in on 308, I'm going to meet you down on 308, okay? okay. It's going to be well on that side of the overpass, so they're going to have a little, not well, not like a mile, but a fair distance, because you're not going to be